Welcome, Anita. Thank you so much for coming coming on here to join me for a conversation about the Helix Method and your experience of the program and with your clients. Um, before we dive in, would you like to introduce yourself to everybody so they know a little bit about you and who you help? Yes, well, I'm Anita Davis and I am a mentor and holistic therapist and I'm also a public speaker. Yes, you are. Um, and you're absolutely amazing. What Thank was you. going on? <laughs> what was going on before we started working together? What was it that attracted you to the Helix method? So I, I've done a number of different therapies. I started uh, doing holistic therapy 16 years ago when I was going through a uh, a challenge in time myself, and it was kind of like uh, one of those: do I go to the doctors or do I, you know, look for something that I can help? with self-healing if you if you like um I knew that the going to the doctor thing wouldn't kind of work for me because I'm not somebody I don't even take a paracetamol like and when I I got pain okay yeah doctor's not gonna do it <laughs> anything else that uh, the doctor might prescribe to me so I, I thought well yeah. okay I need to look at some other route and I'd actually had been to some Reiki sessions and and the person had had a crystal shop and I kind of really got into the crystal so as it happened at the point, that point in time, a friend said, oh, let's go into a crystal course, um, which we did do. And that, that started my own, my journey. So I've done crystal therapy, sound therapy, I've done um, energy medicine, lots of different things like, you know, Reiki. And, and I got to a point where you you kind of just feel that, like you get so far with um, mm -hmm. your work and you feel like that there's another level maybe um, yeah. A bit like, you know, when you're going up the mountain and you kind of get the view and you're like, oh, this view is lovely, but then you kind of feel that you want to move on a bit more. Yes. And for me, it's kind of the all the different therapies that I've done, I've done, um, I, I done access consciousness not long before the, um, I've done access consciousness and then I've done energy alignment method. Um, and then I kind of, I, I qualified as a mentor in that. And then I kind of just felt that, I read the information about it and I thought, oh, okay, is this kind of the next stage for me? Um, mm. And I suppose it is that that was what drew me to, drew me to it, in all honesty. Yeah, that's so exciting. I love it. And it's been wonderful having you in the programme and uh, seeing all your uh, insights and the results that you've been having with your clients what do you tell us what results just to share with everybody so you can see what's possible with the helix method what results have you had so far with your with your clients I've, I've had, actually had such a, a wide range of um, different things that have come to me really um, so I had a gentleman who so I mainly work with people who have got ill health or mm -hmm. I've got um, kind of challenges in that area. Not so much. I don't work with people so much around kind of their business and things. It's more yeah. a, on a personal level for people. And it's either because they're needing to build on their confidence or they've had some kind of trauma or some some ill health or, or disability that's kind of come into their life that's impacted on on that and, and has prevented them from going forward. So um, just an example, I had a gentleman who uh, he had... Uh, a condition called macular degeneration it can create cause a person to have visual hallucinations mm -hmm. uh, it is one of the side effects that can happen and uh, but he then had a stroke and after he had the stroke he um, he actually started having these hallucinations after the stroke and not when he developed the macular so normally people when they have macular they they then then may get Charles Bonnie but he hadn't actually had the visual hallucinations at that point he had mm -hmm. then he had the visual hallucinations and he, he I came across him at our local spiritual church because I, I do medium work and um, yeah. he was talking about his hallucinations of course because I work in the field of sight loss I knew what he was talking about um, and and nobody else in the room obviously did because they don't work in that field and it's always interesting because you know you, it's kind of I tend to find that um, there's always uh, the universe brings, I suppose, people to me in some shape. Mm. Or form. This gentleman came to me, to me through the spiritual church, and anyway, he had he was talking about the distress that the visual hallucinations were causing him, and something kind of I don't know something was saying to me, you know, maybe it, it isn't the visual hallucinations as in Charles Bonnet because that's what mm -hmm. he was told 
both medical professions that he had. Um, and so I just said to him, look, would you be open to looking at some energy, open to looking at whether this could be, you know, because of the something related to the stroke that maybe he had a portal. Now, obviously this job was going to spiritual church, so I thought, well, it's probably open to kind of some of those type, types of things. And he said, anything, just, you know, he said, it's okay, he said, I can't cope with it anymore. So anyway, we had to look, I looked at his energy system and um, yeah, and then basically I, I did the, the release statement with him, cleared the portals, um, went through his energy system, make sure everything's okay. And, and then I said to him, look, you know, plenty of water and then let me know you go. I didn't see him the following week, but he came the week after and I said, how, how are you? And he said, they're completely gone. Didn't have yes. any more. At all. And uh, it felt well. different for him. You know, he was lighter. He was just like, yeah, he, he said, he, I mean, give him a good big cut. And, um, mm -hmm. and then recently something has um, happened with him and uh, he, he, he got his neighbor to phone me and we actually did a very quick session on the phone. And uh, we got rid of that session, that thing as well. Oh, love it. So quick, Anita. It's brilliant. That's brilliant. And I know there's more because you, like you say, you specialize with people with health issues. That is the area, your zone of, your zone of genius. And you'd mentioned around um, a client, um, if I remember rightly, around her, her walking and not being able to touch her, put her, the soles of her feet together. Yeah, yeah. So um, I was at a, I was supporting um, another group that I that I work with um, at a at a weekend, and the I'd actually done some work on a lady who had arrived. Uh, one of the other workers at, at the event, they would arrived on the the night before the event started, and I'd done some work with her. I, I knew her anyway, but she'd been driving in the dark, and and I'd done some energy work with her where I kind of sorted out her back and she actually she actually did give rebirth rebirth herself and that was amazing because mm -hmm. but she'd gone and told um so there was five ladies on the course that uh, there was a there were 13 ladies on the course altogether the five of them and all had um work done on belly they had an operation on the belly button area either because they'd had hysterectomy or they'd had hernia or they'd had um um a cesarean mm -hmm. And so she was, she just had a hysterectomy and she was telling them about this work I'd done with her the previous night and how all the, it, it felt as if her bits of the inside had all moved around and how much better <laughs> bed felt. Yeah. This one particular lady kind of hunted me down and was like, can you look at me? Can you look at my belly <laughs> So I was like, yes, yes, okay. And uh, anyway, um, it, as it happened, I'd, I'd actually done another lady that weekend and there was a, there was a th theme that had gone on between them that that they'd all been sexually abused um, mm. in in their childhood or early adulthood, and um, the it, it was it was kind of a they the all these ladies who had to have operations on their you know on on for the the reasons I've just said, and mm -hmm. um, being sexually abused as a child. But this particular lady that I was working with. She hadn't been, she walking was really painful for her, it'd been really painful for her, like for over eight years. Um, her back was very painful. And um, and when she walked, she had to walk with her, her legs apart because she couldn't actually put them together properly. And she couldn't put her foot, soles of her feet together either. So um, when, so anyway, they did some work on her and we did the, the release in and we kind of went through her uh went, went right through her energy system things and she um I have I, I have the ability when I put my hands on people I I see it gives me images of like mm -hmm. things that have happened to them in their past or tells me like um maybe how old they were um mm -hmm. and uh and I, I I've kind of well so when I put my hand on their pain it, it tells me just different things so they they don't yeah. always tell me but then later they when I sort of say, oh, look, you know, this is what I'm feeling or seeing. Um, and they'll, I, I just want them to confirm whether what I'm seeing and feeling is, is correct. Mm -hmm. and, and then we're working through the energy and we'd, you know, we'd, we'd actually go through the different layers and, um, and then we're doing the release. And, and then we're at the end of that, this lady was actually able to put her feet together, all her back and her leg pain had gone wow. and she was able to walk with, um, with, well, well, with, with ease. Yeah. And, 
she was going on holiday the, the following day. After, well, she was going on holiday. She was going home the following day and then they were going on holidays the day after that. So, um, That's yes, phenomenal. really happy. Yeah. Yeah. How did that feel having those results for your clients? Uh, amazing. I mean, because it's kind of like my healing work has just got mm. from strength to strength. And um, I mean, I uh, coincidentally, I got, kind of got a theme going on at the moment around mass because the, the, this lady, what her body was telling me was that there was um, it was conflict that was going on between her masculine and her feminine energies. Mm. And, I ran, and it was all to do with blame around the sexual abuse and what had happened. But yeah. then I had another lady who also had a conflict with her. She had back pain mm -hmm. um, and she had a conflict between her masculine and feminine energies for a different reason because um, of in her, in, her, in her family, her father had wanted a, a, a son, but he'd had whole daughters. And she was kind of the one who, was, who took on the son role. And so every time she did anything feminine as an adult, this back pain would get worse. And Gosh. so, well, mm. she didn't know that at the time. Mm, it was mm. healing. She was the, the lady that I did, I, I did some work on in the service station. <laughs> yes, I remember you telling me. That's like then she then hey, you can yeah. take your, your take your practice anywhere you can do it in the service station you can do it in a cafe you I can do it at home and the therapy <laughs> clinic <laughs> i had a lady in the waiting room at the hospital <laughs> did you <laughs> i come take down the corridor because i'd done the nurse's back that was looking after my my mother oh you're, you're becoming famous around <laughs> your area anita i love it <laughs> many stories about how i've met people yeah <laughs> I but, just love it. I love how you meet people. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Congratulations on these amazing results that you're, you know, get creating for your clients and congratulations to your clients as well. It's just phenomenal for their their healing. Um thank you so much for sharing your your results, you know, working with the Helix Method. Did you did you have any hesitations before you joined the Helix Method program? I, I did actually. I did. I was kind of like did I pondered over it for about I think I'd seen the notice in something like the January and, and we either started in like the, the February, March. It was kind of about over a, I, th I think it was over a period of the month. And I tend to be one of these people, like uh, sometimes I, I might join something at the very last minute because I'm like, mm. is is this, because I, I, I'm one of these people who will see like, you know, a little jewel. I'm like, oh yeah, shall I do that? You know, you <laughs> know the type where something looks like really pretty and, and, um, and tiny. Yeah. Oh, shall I do that? Shall I do that? And I flip from one thing to another. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, no, I wish I hadn't done that now. Um, because like at the beginning, it seems exciting. And then it, and then you kind of lose the thing for it. But all oh, life just gets busy and whatever. So I was like, well, I, I'd done so many courses and I was qualified and trained in so many different things. And I thought, well, is this something I really need to do? So I did question all of that. And then mm -hmm. it was one of those, I think maybe whether it be my guides or um, I have this thing called my yellow belly ecstasy, which is my why feeling. Yeah. And and if that why feeling is still there over a period of days or weeks, you know, then it, it's an indication that it is the, the right thing for me to do. So, you know, you've got your sway that you can use, but you've also got this internal feeling that you have when you get excited about something, which is your yes this is right for you you know which is which which comes up when i see all of these lovely glittery things that i go oh yeah that looks like really exciting but you can't expect that it's still there you know that that why feeling is still a couple of days after a couple of weeks and it, it it was you know after like the month it was like oh yes this is something i want to do and, and that's why then i i i think i was kind of a bit um i can't remember what the dis the time difference was between when i actually decided and when it started but it might have been a couple of weeks but yeah um, I can't yeah. remember either I remember you telling me about the yellow belly ecstasy which really made me smile <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like I love that <laughs> I, what, what I've enjoyed about it the program is that you know I, I've done so some of the stuff we've done like you know when we have doing the um when we were doing the uh, assemblage point I always have to think of assembly to remember that word oh yeah <laughs> I have to kind of go school and 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 have this visual <laughs> image in my head of us all sitting in the you know, in the yeah. in the to get the assembly because I never remember it otherwise. Um, but anyway, you know, when even though in other therapies we've done you know we've done assemblage point, but um, and and this is just using this as an example. So even though 
it. I, I, I got good. I, I got a good knowledge of Entwick. Mm -hmm. What's nice about it is that it kind of, for me, I can't just stick to one therapy. I, I'm, you know, there are some therapies I do and you're only allowed to do that therapy. You can't do any other therapy because they don't like you diluting their therapy with anything. Mm -hmm. For me, mm -hmm. I have to go along with what I have to go with the flow of the energy. Yes, exactly. I, I, be able to do whatever is come in for that individual that I'm working with because there's every treatment I do is always different it's never the same there might be a similar theme going on but the way I, I do that work with the person is is always different yeah I, I can't yes. ever say it always been the same and um not for me anyway so I I needed something that was you know what it did for me is it brought all of that stuff even even if I I knew about some of that stuff before and I'd had a different way of doing it like this bridge point mm. just an example um but it meant that i could um bring those things together in the way that i need to bring them together that works for me and is obviously working for my clients yes it's the most important thing isn't it being able to follow the energy yeah absolutely yeah, <gasps> yeah it's a powerful powerful session uh, when we dive into to that part what would you say to someone who is you know, thinking about certifying as a Helix Method mentor? Well, it's a no-brainer in there, really. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if you're thinking of it, then, you know, check with your... Uh, if, you, if, you can, if you can... If, if you don't know what your element ecstasy SS, is, about it, but, you know, if you're thinking about it and you're still thinking about it and you're still thinking about it, then you need to do it, don't you? I love it. Do, 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 <laughs> yeah. do, do, it's, it's kind of... <laughs> If it's come up on your radar, um, you know, because you've seen an email or you've seen mm. it on Facebook or you've talked to somebody about it, but if something has popped up into your awareness X amount of times, then, you know, that, that's a message from the universe saying you need to do this. Now, you might be needing to do it for lots of different reasons, either because you need to do it for yourself or because you're going to become, um, you're going to use it in whatever it is that you, you know, you're coaching or your, your therapy work, whatever it is that you do. But there'll be a reason that you're, it might be because of the people you're going to meet. Yes. You know, like um, I joined EAM and I've met some amazingly wonderful women and I do use EAM to some extent what I do, but it's only, you know, it is, is it's, it's just bits of what I do and I mentor, and, but I don't just, because I like said, I can't just solely do one, one thing. And um, some people might go, oh yeah, no, but you should only do, do that, but it doesn't work for me. So, um, so I, I use, if I want to use AM, I use that, but, you know, joining EAM, even though it's, it's, it, it was like, it was like the plug, up, pulling the plug up my swimming pool. It was, it was amazing technique. It was my, my beginning journey of where I am now, if you like, even though it mm. started 15 years ago. Um, I, four years ago, I was on a mission to, to find out what was going on in my life, to heal, start healing myself. And and it was it was that journey was all about me and and EAM did help me pull the plug at the swimming pool, but even though I kind of started pulling that plug at the swimming pool and the water start is has drained out, but it it also enabled me to be a mentor in EAM. But also, you know, more than that, it meant me meant that I met wonderful women like you and lots of other women who have actually done the Helix method and had done their classic records that I I've also done. You know, and it's just been. Amazing. So if you join the Helix method, you will meet some amazingly wonderful people that you won't meet if you don't do it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anita. It's so true. I love what you're saying around how the universe shows us signs. If something's popped up on your radar and you keep thinking about it and that yellow belly ecstasy um, is like, yeah, you just got to do it. Yeah. love how yeah i make decisions it's, like that. it's like i feel it like an energetic pull it's like i just and i have a knowing it's like yeah i know that's mm. the next path that's the next unfolding and, and part of the chapter for me as well so i completely get that mm. and yeah we have an amazing community of helix method mentors it is just wonderful isn't it all the people that we get to get to meet and then we get to do this together is yeah yeah, yeah. so awesome yeah. So, and and even if you know i mean the, the the nice thing about it is even if life gets busy and you might not um you know you might not hear from be in touch with people for a while i mean i'm, I'm not the the greatest person at um keeping in touch with people because life just gets so 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 busy but you know you it's it's kind of a family you can always come back to um yeah. you know dipping into both and ask questions of and 
and learn from and all the rest of the stuff really yeah, I love it. Well, thank you so much for being part of our fabulous community and for all your love and contribution to everybody in the group um, as well. And thank you for sharing your experience of the Helix Method and your wisdom and your tips for helping people make the, the most aligned decision for themselves as well. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you, Louise. <laughs> <laughs>